Today's breakfast is seven points. I have a slice of Oscar Mayer center cut bacon for one point. And then I made the Kodiak cakes. I made them a little bit smaller because my pan's kind of small. And so these are three points for both of them. I did not, um, what did I do? I had the log cabin light syrup, but I always put it on the side. That's what that little dish is. So I used one tablespoon for one point. The banana is zero. I sprayed it with a little bit of, I can't believe it's not butter spray for zero. And then, of course, I had coffee. My creamer is one point for the Coffee Mate Sugar-Free Italian Sweet Cream. And then I also had a half a cup of the Fair Life Skim Milk for one point. Lunch was a recipe from the Skinny Taste Cookbook. It is called the Turkey Panini with Roasted Red Pepper and Avocado. Um, I kind of guessed on this one because I obviously didn't have the same ciabatta bread that she had. And I added some extra avocado. The recipe is normally eight points. It has turkey avocado, roasted red pepper, um, and spinach on it, and then of course the bread, and I counted it as 10. I had four points worth of ruffles, the Simply Natural reduced fat, and then this is where the day started to go downhill because I not only had one beer with lunch, I probably had two more after that. If you follow me on Instagram, and that link is down below in the description bar if you want to see the things I post there, you know that we went out to dinner Sunday night. We went to Eddie V's, which is one of our favorite restaurants, and super indulged, and I didn't even count. Of course, we had bread. I had a glass of Prosecco. This crab cake, which we split, is just divine, mostly crab. I had the lemon sole. I ate about half of this. Um, it's Parmesan crusted with this little herb tomato salad. We had a side of the sautéed spinach, which has garlic and parmesan. And the first round of spinach that came to us was a little bit chilly, so they replaced it, and then they brought us dessert for free, um, which we weren't going to order, of course. But this is their bananas froster. It comes to the table, and then they light it with the brandy, and it is absolutely divine. We've had it before, but haven't had it in many, many, many moons. Um, it's served with ice cream and fresh whipped cream, and holy cow. So I, just for number's sake, I threw in 40 for dinner and left it at that. But, you know, this is one of those dinners that we go out to about a couple of times a month, and I never, ever, ever, ever regret a single bite that I take because everything about it is delicious.